Hi guys, this is Erica and in today's video I want to share a success story with you just to prove to you that there is always movement but before we start I want to remind you that we are giving away a free course called How to Find Your Blogs to Manifest Anything Fast. All the details are down below and also if you would like to work with me one-on-one -on -one, I would love to help you. I extended my sale. Uh, I don't know how long I will extend it for but yeah, I wanted to do it at least until the end of the year. So if you're interested in working with me, all the details are down below as well. Um, but yeah, let's start with this video. And uh, so I, this is a success story because uh, I hear a lot of you guys telling me, Erica, I'm doing the work. I'm not seeing anything. And I want you to know that there is always movement. There is always movement. Always. Behind the scenes. Your physical eyes have not seen the movement yet, but every time that you're thinking something, that you're assuming something, there will always be movement. Always. And we can talk about thought transmission. You know that when you're thinking about your person, your person is thinking about you. If you're thinking your person doesn't want you, they'll be like, mm, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think I want them. Or if you're thinking my, my person, they don't, they're not interested in me, they don't want commitment, they don't love me, they don't respect me. Since they are a reflection of you, that's how they're going to show up. So thought transmission, it is real because we're all connected. They have to show up according to how we see them. That's why for me, the, the main point about manifesting is really reminding myself and reminding my clients, reminding myself, all of us, that we are the power, that we are the source. That's why we say we are the open power, the God of our realities, right? Our consciousness is everything. So the way that I like to see myself is, and I probably, you guys know that I love analogies, but I probably mentioned this in the past. I like to see myself, if I'm telling myself I am the source of how everyone shows up for me, it's like I see myself as a movie projector. So if I know that everything that is projected out into the 3D comes from me because I am the projector, if I don't like what I'm seeing out there, all I have to do is change the movie, change the story for the projection to be different. That's all I have to do. And I, that's why I also like to see that 3D, that projection as my friend. It's in my favor because it's letting me know what I have inside what stories i have what assumptions what fears etc so i think that's the main thing about you know there is always movement well remind yourself that you are the power you are the source and if you're thinking it they're thinking it if you want that job that job is yours but if you think you're never gonna get the job you're never gonna get the job and there's always gonna be movement i've shared my story about the job that i wanted and I always said, that's going to be my job. There were not even openings, but I got the job. I applied for the job. They told me, no, sorry, you don't have the qualifications. I said, I don't care if that is my job, right? So that thought transmission, me saying that was my job, people had to move for me to get my assumption. There was movement, even though they were telling me no. So what happened is I did not buy into or believed or accepted. That's the right word. Accepted what they were telling me. They were telling me no. And I didn't accept it. I said, I don't care, right? That's my job. I don't care. I'll get my assumption. I don't care. I'll get my desire. Because I'm the source. There is always a movement. So even though they're saying, no, I don't care. Like, that is mine. So it's claiming what you want. With authority, with stubbornness, however you want to call it. But just claim that whatever it is you desire is yours. The job, the money, the, the car, the love, the whatever. The... the a vacation, whatever it is that you desire, tell yourself that it's already yours. And there, there, there will be movement. Always. And I like, well, I don't know. I like to see that, you know, that, that person, either like the specific person, you know, the, the love, you know, the love partner or your boss or whoever it is that you're manifesting. I like to see them as an actor, an actress in my movie. I'm the one that's writing the script and they have to show up according to the role that I am assigning them. So let's say that we can go to love. Your specific person is telling you, um, 
I don't want to be with you. I'm not ready for a relationship. They had to reflect the story within. So all you have to do is change the story, change the script, and they will have to change because you are the one in control. You are the source. You're the one that wrote the script, right? So, but there is always movement. If you change the story, they will change for you. And so I think I was laughing because I remember at one point, I kept telling myself that I was a queen. I remember I would go to the gym because I think you guys know that I like to go to the gym. And I remember being in the Stairmaster. I'm like, okay, I'm miserable. Like I need to do something, right? And I think I, I was bored of my music and I just started telling myself, I am a queen. I am a lot of affirmations for self-concept. I am irresistible. I am a queen. Da, 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 da. Anyways, the person, <laughs> my specific person that I was with, um, we were together. I think it was a couple of days later. We were together and all of a sudden like i think he was kissing me and then he tells me like oh my gosh you're my queen and i literally left in his face and he's like shocked and he's like what and i'm like i'm so sorry and i'm like you just repeated my affirmations you see there was movement i persisted in telling myself that story that i was a queen this and that and he repeated my affirmations there was movement um and the story that I wanted to share is one of my clients. She was, I was working with her and uh, she really wanted to manifest her person. They were together for a while and this person broke up with her kind of out of the blue. And of course my client was really sad. She was, she was really upset about it because she really loved this person. She thought that they had a real connection and she had never felt the love that, you know, she felt for, for this person and so what happened is she, we, I helped her change the story. I helped her tell herself. And I think the issue was she didn't feel like she was loved unconditionally because he had some things that he didn't, he didn't accept about her. And there were things that she couldn't change. So, I mean, she was like, this is so unfair. Like I cannot change that about myself. So anyways, we started working on like you need to really change the story and tell yourself that you're perfect just the way you are that you deserve unconditional love etc etc right so we changed the story and she will come to me kind of frustrated like like erica like i'm so frustrated like i've been doing this for a while and i think she had been doing it for a couple of months and and she's like i'm just so frustrated like I, it's i should have i should be able to see so movement by now i should be able to see some movement and i see zero movement so i will tell her you need to stop telling yourself that you are seeing zero movement because if you are the source and you are telling yourself i'm seeing zero movement you don't want to get stuck there so that's why i would recommend if you are in a similar situation tell yourself i'm seeing movement all the time and really go back to the end if you're like frustrated like i'm not seeing any movement tell yourself what no that is not true then go to the end for example tell yourself Oh my god i love being in this amazing relationship like i feel so happy i feel so loved like i love being their partner right instead of keep telling you keep telling yourself like i see no movement because it's a, it's really a moment by moment choice and if we keep looking at there's no movement there's no movement and maybe you stay there looking at no movement more than how you're thinking in a positive way in the end what do you think you're gonna see more of no movement because your focus is everything. And that's what I see like for me, when I'm looking at what I don't like and I get frustrated or I get like, you know, anxious or like sad, then I see more of the movement. But the moment I'm like, no, what am I doing? Even if I lie to myself and I tell myself, I feel so calm, I feel so, so happy. I feel there's not a care in the world for me. Even just by seeing it, I see movement because I'm not allowing myself to stay <laughs> stuck in the 3D because remember the 3D is the old story. But if I'm like, they're still telling me that they don't wanna be with me or I still haven't heard from them. If you keep looking at, I haven't heard from them, I haven't heard, I haven't heard from them and you want the communication, you're like, you're staying stuck there. So instead of, you can say, okay, well, I haven't heard from them, but I don't care, that's the old story. I don't care like in in that moment you go with it and 
Again, I love getting all the communication from this person. They love me so much. I'm so important to them. I'm always in their mind and they will let me know consistently, right? It's all about don't stay stuck in the 3D because you don't want the 3D to keep you here, the source telling you, the projector telling you that it's still not the way you want it to be. So, so anyways, and something that you can do, again, there is always movement that you have not seen maybe with your physical eyes. You can even change that story. Say, tell yourself there is always movement and I see it with my physical eyes all the time. Every day I see the movement with my physical eyes. Tell yourself that story. But there is always movement. So anyways, like going back to my client's story. So she was she was frustrated and like, I'm not seeing anything. And I will tell her, go back to the end. Tell yourself like you're in that, that relationship with them. Like that you guys talk all, talk all the time. That they love you unconditionally. That that you feel happy, that you feel excited because you're back together because, right? So she kept going and <laughs> she kept going and it wasn't that long after she persisted in the story despite her not seeing the movement, right? But I will always drag her back to not remember, like you're already there. You already have that person back with you. You already have the communication, right? So I kept bringing her back to the power even though she was looking at the movement, even though she felt sad or she felt frustrated and she would cry. She would cry and tell me like, it's just, I just miss them so much. I'm like, it's okay. Intend that you're just feeling what they're feeling. They're missing you. That's why they're reaching out to you, right? So be the, 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 the queens, the kings of positive assumptions. Assume everything in your favor. So if you're missing them, oh, I'm just feeling what they're feeling. They're missing me. That's why they're reaching out to me. You feel miserable or they're feeling so miserable because they're not talking to me. That's why they're reaching out to me, right? Always assume everything in your favor. So anyways, that's what we will do. And when this person, this person, the specific person finally showed up, he started calling her constantly and like she was busy and then texting her, calling her like, hey, like, and then finally, when she was able to to pick up the phone, I think, yeah, I think it was a phone call. And not just like a text message, text message, but a phone call and a FaceTime, like blowing up her phone. When she was finally able to to answer, like he started asking, oh, like, how are you? Like, all nice and sweet. Can I come over? She's like, sure. Like, she was literally shocked. And this person came over and like, they're like, yes, like, I miss you so much. I've been thinking about you this whole time that they were not in communication. I've been thinking about you this whole time. Even though, remember, she was frustrated. There's no movement. This is not fair. Like maybe I'm not good at manifesting. I should have been seeing something by now. There was always that movement, thought transmission. And this is not the only story that is similar. I have heard so many people, so many of my clients that are in a similar situation. When that person finally comes back, they're like, yeah, I thought about you all the time. So there is always movement. Um, so yeah, she was like, okay. <laughs> Anyways, they were so sweet. They were so kind. They were so loving, just like before, just like they were before. And they like, they're asking for another chance. Like, they're like, I want to be with you again. Like, I love you. I miss you. I don't want to be without you. Because my client intended that to be. So that's why I wanted to share the story with you. And I'm thankful for her to let me share the story. She wanted me to share the story. Because if you're in a similar situation, just know that there is always movement. But again, maybe intend like, there is always movement. There is always movement. And I see it every day with my physical eyes because there is so and 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 i think just a reminder like oh they're thinking what i say they're thinking they're feeling how what i say they're feeling they're doing what i say they're doing when you recognize yourself as the source even if you don't let's say even if you don't there you're, you're still gonna get the results but i feel like when we really remind ourselves of who we are and we recognize ourselves as the source as that walking projector like, I feel like there's a lot of power in that and you'll see faster movement. But yeah, I hope that this video helped you. Again, there is always movement and tend that there is always, always go to the end. So again, if you want that job, tell yourself, I already have the job. 
I love being in that job because Neville used to say, if one person has to move or a thousand or however many they will move, all you have to do is stay in the end, stay in your assumption. Like I did, that is my job. They gave me the job. That is my visa. <laughs> I'm going to get my visa. They gave me the visa. People had to move for me with my client. That's my person. That's my person, despite the sadness, the missing them, the frustration of I'm not seeing anything. The person came back. My daughter, like manifesting the car, like she will come to me for street and it's just like, I want the car and I need the car. How am I going to get the car? I'm like, I don't care. Go, go to the end. Like I have my car. I love driving my car and people had to move for her to get her car. So there is always movement. And there was something that I wanted to share by Neville. Um, because Neville used to call, talk about the bridge of incidents, right? So you assume it, you stay in that assumption. If one person has to move or however many, they will move, you will get your assumption and there will be a bridge of incidents. And one of the quotes is, um, in my end is my beginning. And so I go to the end, meaning I have the job, I have the lover, I have the whatever you want. I go to the end and start in the end. So we stay there, right? Then in a way that I do not know and need not consciously devise, I move across a bridge of incidents, a series of events that leads from where I am now at this moment to the fulfillment of that end that I had imagined and made real in my world. So if you're still like, yeah, I don't know, like go, go and read Neville. Like he has so much good information. Even I go back and I read Neville because it helps me or I go to YouTube and listen to his lectures, but whatever you have to do, there are, there's many other authors that are really good. So just remind yourself, yes, this is real. And if you're interested, this lecture by Neville is Incubate the Dream. It's uh, from May 10, 1963. So, but yeah, there's always moment. You will get your bridge of incidents and just, just believe in yourself but yeah i hope and i intend that this video helped you i intend yeah i intend that it did but as always it's a pleasure to talk to you guys thank you for liking watching and subscribing and again if you're interested in working with me all the, with me, all the details are down below thank you guys bye